It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got Brees Hall. He really helped drive them a week ago with a three-touchdown game. It's the Rams and the Bengals on Monday Night Primetime. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in the Queen City of Cincinnati. Tonight it's the second of our Monday night doubleheader as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Hey! Now a first carry here for Robinson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Charles, they win last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going, runs like that. Now. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game and leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. A perfect example right there, Charles, of why they love this rookie runner. And think about how the NFL and the college games are meshing together more and more. You don't have to go to the NFL and learn a new set of skills. What you did in college often makes you ready for the NFL. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 12 more yards there and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing go, league. I thought go. this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage in their clearing space. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Ready. Robinson with another carry. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Robert Spillane, the linebacker there on the tackle. Now a second and 10. Willis looks to pass it here. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He's trying to get it to Amon Ross St. Brown. Third down here. You talk about this Rams defense. And this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this crew ever put pressure on the QB, it easily move into the top five. Off the play fake, here's Willis. season and the Bengals put the Knights first points on the board as they take the early lead a long opening drive but a very successful opening drive we call that methodical I guess when it takes that many plays methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows they can withstand them here look they gave up the touchdown but you don't feel like a
The Bengals drive about to get going. They've got the 7-0 lead. Ready. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they at one mind to, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Second down and four. Play fake. Here's Willis. He's got his man downfield. It's Robinson. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. And we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The Bengals at one and one through two games thus far. It's not a start that's going to set the world on fire, but they've been pretty solid nonetheless. And the first thing that crosses my mind, it certainly beats the alternative of starting 0-2. I do think that this is a team that's going to take a little time to find its footing. Hard to navigate the always tough NFL. A game there of 30 big ones. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Back to throw Willis. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. You talk about this Rams defense. And this on, unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And since this is such a good unit at covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch. But nothing doing on that one. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, it's Willis. This is caught, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash, dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here as they go to work on a first and goal. Come back, team. Come back, team. Back to throw Willis. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Alvin Ross St. Brown with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals go nearly the length of the field and fit. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Here's a screen for Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. Willis looking to throw it. Flush to his right. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. 62 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Third and three. Willis out of the gun. 
He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Hand off now to Robinson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Talanoa Hufanga, a first-time All-Pro last year, up to make the tackle. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. It's a play fake. Here's Willis. And this is caught. It's so close. He gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. And that one results in 35 yards. A team's practice their plays during the week. They're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a the game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. Willis to the goal line but it's incomplete the way he's been slinging in the first half you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third isn't it yeah, I thought he had him for a second but you're right not to be 60 Maverick, 60 Maverick. 70 Rangers, 70 Rangers. Willis looking to throw it go up by two touchdowns. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Here's Willis now off the play fake. They'll let this go deep for St. Brown. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Last play of the half, here's Willis. And that is incomplete. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, where you see the final score there. Austin Eckler. What a game. Three touchdown runs in the victory. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Carolina Panthers. Sam Darnold, sharp in the victory, as his guys bounce back from a tough start to the year to claim victory number one. Finally, let's get to Silicon Valley to check on the 49ers at home at Levi Stadium. And they were winners in that one over the visiting New York Giants. Van Jefferson, a touchdown catch in the victory. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half. And to bring it your way, we go back up to Cincinnati and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. 
And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And they're still very much... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Kevin Pirates! Kevin Pirates! To the air on first down. Here's Willis. And a quick throw here. That's complete. They'll be dropped after a game of about six across the 30 to the 31. Okay, He'll ready. come up now second and four from the 31. Ready. On the give, here's Robinson. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and two. Let's go two now. yards still to go. Third down now. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time. And now the up man has it. It's a fake. Breaks the tackle now with Allen. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. So they snap it straight to the up man. What's his responsibility? Normally, obviously, just to protect, but he's got to be a guy that can be pretty agile too, right? Yeah, without a doubt, because you're talking about a guy, even in protection, he may have to slide up and down the line of scrimmage to pick up someone who comes through trying to block a punt. So you know he's got that ability to move. But oftentimes, it's a huge, you know, running back, a fullback, someone who's used to having the ball in their hands, and he's able to pick up the first down. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Meanwhile, Willis throw into the hands of Ferkser here. They'll give him four yards there. And third and eight now. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. The Bengals bring out their punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really... The offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in for the Cincinnati score. B. John Robinson, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Bengals are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, that's a good-looking rookie right there. I love how he let the play set up and then showed that explosiveness that I saw on tape in college. Remember I showed you the clip? Of Ready, set. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position set, set, thanks set, to the set. interception. have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in the... Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And that is not fooling anyone. 
He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. Well, that's a wide out. When you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. The result, only four yards there on the play. And third and eight now. Now Willis to throw. Checks this one down to Robinson. And I don't think he got there, no. Gee, short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So... We are in the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Oh, that was well designed as they'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. Again, it's Robinson. And he will have a Bengals first down, and it's celebration time on that sideline, and they've earned it. They'll run it now with Robinson. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a game of 15, and that ought to just about put an end to this one. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Robinson fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his thick touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good. Four. Oh, a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. And this is caught, and that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, Charles, he's still a young single caller in this league, second year in the NFL, and I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his prime... Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did that? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency, not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them. So for Cincinnati, it's back-to-back -back victories now after the week one defeat as they move to two and one. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for L.A., they too will exit with a 2-1 and one record. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.